Call me Prophet Papama. I'm a South African native, 100%. My forefathers are South African natives, 100%. I understand there was a prophet, a South African native, who was called Credo Mutua. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Credo Mutua, from my understanding and from what I can see even on the internet, is that he was a prophet who was called, truly called. Why I say that? It's because the prophecies that he used to dish out or prophesy about most did come to pass. But because he was a South African prophet, for some reason, he never received the acknowledgement, the true acknowledgement from South Africans. He never received it because South Africans seem to have a tendency of believing or wanting to believe in the people that come to South Africa from other countries, the so-called prophets. Let me tell you something. This is spiritual. Credo Muta was a true prophet. Why? Because now what's happening is that a lot of the people, when they see his videos, they start saying, this is what he foresaw. This is what Credo Muta was talking about because some of his prophecies are happening today. Look at what is happening in the country with the current government under our current president. A lot of things, chaos in South Africa. And Credo Mutua foresaw that. I'm giving Credo Mutua his flowers. Even if he's gone, he still deserves it. I am one prophet also from South Africa, a native called, anointed by God, Anointed by my Jews, my ancestors. But I know that a lot of people will bash me. A lot of people won't believe in me because I'm a prophet of this town. I'm a prophet of this country. Rather, people will go to other prophets who come into South Africa because they want money. Who come into South Africa because they know that South Africans believe in God and they can do anything to find the God that they seek. South Africans are true worshippers. South Africans truly love God. That's why South Africa is so blessed. South Africans are not liars. They stand for what they believe in and they believe in God just like me. So I'm saying South Africans try to learn to understand that you've got your own prophets in your country who are destined to help and save South Africa from the chaos that's happening because the people who come from outside are wolves mostly. Wolves in sheepskin. They are here for the pests, your pests, your monies. That's why their churches are always talking about tithing all the time, talking about giving, giving, giving to them. They take until you don't have. God is not a God of poor people. God is not a God of people who are struggling financially. Why isn't God giving these prophets money miraculously? No, they take your money. But let's leave it there. This video is about this. Okay, let me touch this one quickly. South Africans don't believe in South Africans. And this must change for South Africa to prosper properly. God is with South Africa. God is blessing South Africa. But God is asking for South Africans to start believing, loving, and supporting each other. It doesn't matter what color skin South Africans are. We know the tribes of South Africa. We know the races of South Africa. Let's support each other. Even going to the people that come illegal in the country and owning spaza shops, I mean, that's a crime. But the government is allowing it to happen. And these people are coming to suffocate people in South Africa in their locations, in their villages, in their towns, in their cities, taking whatever little bread that God is offering the South Africans, taking it for themselves by opening illegal spaza shops. And they are also illegal, these people, mind you. They take jobs um, from the South Africans because they don't employ South Africans. They employ these other illegal foreigners. Even South African companies are employing illegal people. So that must stop because God is cleaning South Africa and is going to continue cleaning South Africa until South Africa is clean. Watch this space. You might not believe in me. You might not know me. But let me tell you something. My name is Prophet Papama. I'm anointed. I'm gifted. I'm called to help save South Africa. Let me talk about this one.
this is a follow-up to a video I sent out saying president, the current president that you all know, now there's a GNU, a government called GNU, there's government officials, there's a lot of people who are still ignoring South Africans, who are still, in, still um, treating South Africans as if they are visitors in their own country, who are not doing anything to help South Africans, whether it's business, whether uh, it's life, whether it's the communities, people are beggars in their own country. Thanks to the current people who are leading this country, they are busy taking care of those who pay the bribes, who come from other countries, is buying South Africa. South Africa is not for sale. God has spoken to me last night. God has spoken to me last night about the situation. Following up on a prophecy I said before, where I said the current president and his officials must stop taking South Africans for granted. They must help South Africans. They must change because they are out there looking for someone who can buy South Africa in any sort and form and they take the monies and then they let illegal foreigners roam and destroy South Africa. God is putting a stop to that. I said there will be ministers who have been doing wrong, who are going to perish like flies. That is happening. It has started happening. You can see in the news almost every month there's one or two ministers that have perished. Why? God said they're going to see his wrath because they're selling South Africa. They sold South Africa and they have sold South Africans and that is going to stop. God's wrath is going to see them. Watch my old videos. If you don't believe me, I'm challenging you i'm challenging whichever prophet you say you believe is from another country who's here in south africa also illegal mind you because even prophets and these people who open churches are illegal in south africa they come on the on the premise that they are coming for a asylum seeking only to find out that they start opening churches because they see an easy avenue to actually hide in churches god is going to even reveal them and take them out of those churches and deal with them because they are here as wolves in sheep skin so i'm saying i challenge your prophet i challenge your so-called prophet that you believe is true that you believe is really anointed i challenge them to actually not only prophesy through their magic and their jujus that they are doing not only to prophesy they must also come and say the prophecy that i prophesied at that particular time now it's coming to fruition here is it they must also prove their prophecies they don't do that they tell you and then they want you to forget and and tell you new prophecies all the time they're always prophesying that south africa is going for doom south africa is going for gloom why because they want south africa to be in the bondage south africans to be in the bondage of fear south africans don't fear god is with you don't fear god is with you we are here as your true prophets you must start believing in south africans because god doesn't bring prophets from outside god has created prophets and anointed prophets who are the children and the sons of the soil of south africa to help save South Africa. Those prophets who come from other countries, they are running away from trouble in their countries. They are running away because they are known in those countries that they are not true prophets and they'd rather come to a place like South Africa to amass wealth from the people that are blind. Wake up, pray, uh, trust God, listen to the reason, the voice of reason in your head. God is going to take you away from these churches who are amassing, you know, like, who are amassing wealth through you and from you. This is a warning again, I'm finishing, this is a warning again to the current president, the GNU, so-called GNU government, and those officials who carry on destroying South Africa by taking bribes, who carry on allowing people to come into South Africa illegal, who carry on allowing people to trade in small businesses and spaza shops, taking food away from South Africans' mouths by operating illegal spaza shops and businesses in South Africa, employing foreign people who are illegal in South Africa, those people who carry on doing wrong thinking that whatever is done that's wrong in the dark it will never come to light god is saying he's going to reveal everything he's still going to carry on um, dealing with this wrath uh, with the people that are selling south africa so if you know you are doing wrong to south africa as an official of government i'm telling you change pray repent and change your ways because you're destroying south africa you're destroying the lives of the future prospects of south africa the young people what country are they going to get if you destroy it this way so god God is going to deal with you. You are going to perish before your time to perish comes. 
And that wasn't happening now. The ones who are perishing now are the ones that have sold South Africa. And God is saying he's going to destroy them one by one, one by one. The one who's leading this country is not going to be destroyed because firstly, whatever he's doing wrong in the dark, which seems to be many, are going to be revealed and is going to be embarrassed. God is going to showcase whatever is done in the dark first before he deals with him. So watch this space. I'm a true prophet of South Africa. Like me or not, I'm chosen. Watch this space. I say a prophecy and I stand by it. Last night I prayed, asking God to stop the rain at 11 o'clock at night. When I woke up, it was raining heavy in the Eastern Cape. I said, God, please stop this damaging rain. I'm telling you, within five minutes of my prayer, the rain stopped. The next day, it's warm. There's sun outside. There's just a minor rain here and there. But it stopped. The flood stopped. I talked about this prophecy before this heavy rain started. Watch my older videos beginning of october i said i see heavy rains and overflows of rivers and damaging rains in south africa and it has come to pass a year ago i said before jacob zuma received the support when jacob zuma was still in trouble with no one supporting him i said in my prophecies watch my older videos i said i see jacob zuma being supported by people that he even never thought that would ever support him He's got a growing party, a godly party, a party that's going to take over the reins in South Africa very soon because God is with that party. That party is the true patriots of South Africa who are going to save South Africa. So I'm saying to you, change your ways, leaders of South Africa, because your wrath is going to meet you before you know it. I pray that South Africa is cleansed by God as he has started and change for the betterment of South Africa and its children. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.